taking so long at this. This is why I don't. This I make Krispy Kreme donuts for my daughter. The line is like crazy. It's taking forever for people to get their order at the window. I can't. This is like the third time I came here. And it's always like this. Y'all just sell donuts, huh? Then I came the first time. She and like she could understand what I was telling her, and then she still got my order wrong. I'm like, ma'am, I said three. Uh, 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 oh, uh, three. I'm like, oh my god. I'm trying to get home and get my greens on. I'm anxious to get my coffee in me too. That's another thing. But um, I came on live again. I got my MCT oil from Walmart. It was twelve dollars and something, but I don't care. I mean, I'ma had it a while, a long time. So stop being cheap and shit. Nah, I needed it. I needed it right now, so I got it from Walmart. I know how those are. But you could have got it at. You saw I just left Kroger. I ain't for the burn no gas going nowhere else. Cause I know for a fact the vitamin shop got it, but it was a little further drive, and they have a bigger container. They're gonna be like thirty bucks. The fuck? And I'm trying to get some donuts for my daughter, so when she wake up, to put some sugar in her. Cause like I said, she gotta help me um do some stuff today. For a fact, this truck in front of me just been sitting here for like I know a good three minutes, and now she's just not taking his order. What the fuck is Charlene here doing? It's a new, it's a new um business too, y'all. Because like when the first time I came, I had to tell her, I'm like, your light ain't on, your open light is not on. I see, I just seen three cars go around me and left. They didn't know you on or not. It's fucking dark up front. You back here, man. I said, man, cut the light on in the front. She had to go hit the light on in the front, po thing. I'm like, you back here making donuts in the light, but up front, the, yes, I said, is the door even open? Y'all like, what's she talking about? This damn long ass line of Krispy Kreme. jamming was on here earlier and she um asked me something and i told her let me just go live again so i can speak on this subject huh Can I get a dozen of your original glaze? I want six original and six chocolate um glaze. Yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, I came back live because you know it's a a lot to just text and i might as well just talk about it um toe jamming which was she was on here earlier she um that's her name because she i think she specialized in just pedicures and um she asked me in my dm a few minutes ago about you know how she had to close well i don't know she want me not, i don't know well, i don't know she want me to tell y'all her personal business but basically she's trying to figure out you know how to get back into the game because she's a newlywed you know what i'm saying she just got married she just had a baby so well, this ain't no secret, but she closer. She in Houston. She she closer sweet down. You know what I'm saying to trying to figure out balance. Like trying to, like I say, she trying to get back into the game. She wanna she wanna go back to school and, and be an educator. She wanna teach. She wanna have an instructor's license, but she feel as if she need to know more before she even get into that being a um an instructor because she's already licensed. So I didn't. I I just told her I just go live and talk about that. But um, of course, if you want to just go straight into school to be an instructor, you need to. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. You're not gonna learn nothing in instructor school either. Just like y'all don't be learning in um school to do nails, especially where I went anyway. You're not gonna learn anything. Cause it was all just me sitting there cocking in, reading the book. And she come over there every now and then. You okay? You having any questions? I'm like no. I was just clocking in. 
again, she was over there teaching the students who was there to get their nail license. There was nothing she could teach me, nothing she told me, nothing she told me as far as how to be an instructor, how to teach classes, how to customer service, the types of clients you're going to give, this, this, this. She ain't tell me none of that shit. Okay, um, $2.99, here you go. Everything I teach in my class, and I tell y'all, is from, from, it's, it's from, from my experience, what I've taught myself. So, you can go to the the school all you want. And don't ask me where I went. I, I told, told Jamie, but I'm not telling nobody else, because I'm about to open up my own school, and I can teach you in my own school. And then again, that school was trash, so I'm not, I, I just told her because she local. But I don't don't ask me where I went because I'm not I'm just being honest. I'm not telling because I'm a, like I say I teach you at my school. But anyway, um, you need to, you know, if you do. Thank you. If you do, um, like I say, go to instructor school and feel as if okay, I want to start teaching classes like like stay red or whatever. You 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 need to know what what to teach. You know, you need to know what to what to tell them. So basically, again, it's not another sale tactics, but to be honest, you can take my class. Um, and then I tell you everything you need to do. You will see what how I'm doing it. And then you will, that's your money. And then again, you in Houston. So when you go get your instructor's license, I'm gonna need help. And then you can come, I can hire you when I need help for, so you can stand in for me. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it on live, I'm putting it out there, but I think it's a reason why you asked me that. You can go to school and get your instructor license and just get your hours and then you, you still gotta take my class, of course, if you want to learn how to do it. I'm just being honest, you know, just my business. Cause the school, they're not gonna tell you nothing. Or wait until I open up mines, and I'm in the process of doing that now. Wait until I open up mines, and then I really teach you the game. So you can stand in for me and, 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 and do what I do. So it's up to you. So not, now, you know what I'm saying, you can think about it and you have time. And I need to look into that. I need to look into that. I got to look, really look into that to see if I can even offer that course. Because I know a course opened up a, a nail school. No, I, I'm, I can teach students. But I'm not sure if I can teach to be an instructor. So I'm going to be looking into that. So, yeah, that's on the agenda. But basically, like she was saying... So basically, she's trying to figure out balance. Like, okay, I just got married, just had a baby. I'm trying to get back into the game. I'm trying to figure out balance. I don't know what to do. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot if you can't afford your suite. Um, and and, and it's still, still be a new mommy, you know, whatever. That's a lot. So, like, again, I'm just telling you one more thing I'm teaching my class. Um, You want to be able to afford your booth rent. If you if you are booth renting or if you have a private suite, you want to be able to afford that rent, whether you have a client or not. I'm just being honest with you because what happens is everybody rush to get a suite. You know what I'm saying? Rush to get get a booth just to let just, just trying to prove people wrong or just to say, oh, I'm a boss. I have my own building. I have my own location. Especially where I was at. I'm just being honest. Where I was at. I'm, I, I I think and I probably I think I'm 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 correct. I was the first one of course on the on the on her floor. I was subleasing through Miss Velma, V S Suites. I was the first one on her floor. Um I kinda wanna say I was the first one and the longest lasting one. They came and go so fucking much it was it was unreal. The turnover was crazy because again folks getting them sweets from her, going in there painting, doing it, doing it up, doing it up in two months they gone so she's stressed and trying to get the, the room back right, trying to rent it back out again somebody else rent it two months, business slow they can't pay the rent, they gone or they come up there in the middle of the fucking night being ratchet and take their shit out without paying rent, they gone so that's why people was always telling me, oh you need to have your own salon no, that's why, I'm, I ain't got time to be looking for people to pay rent no, that ain't that ain't what God wanted me to do. No, He want me to, to be an instructor and have my own school. So basically, I'm trying to say is just wait, wait. 
until you are ready to 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 do nails because again the products this shit ain't cheap you know what i'm saying you have to make sure you have enough acrylic to last you a couple of months you know enough products to last you a couple of months all that stuff you need to have everything and you need to and you need to be able to pay rent make money to pay the booth rent there and of course you're not you're not doing nails just to pay booth rent you, you want to make a profit also and bring home some money so you can pay other bills and do other other things because think about this a lot of nail techs that do nails that's why they have to hustle so hard work saturdays working late we have to work late work early in the mornings work every weekend because that's the only form of income like i said i was one of the the, 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 the un unfortunate blessed ones in the industry in my area and i ain't gonna say my area i don't know why i said that but i'm just saying i have a husband that make money i have other sources of income coming in but I always said that, like, I I, 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 I give my props to, to any nail tech if that's your only mean of income. You don't have no husband bringing in money. You don't have another form of income coming in. You got to sit here and pay all this fucking rent, buy your supplies, pay your car note, pay your car insurance, pay your house note. I, do, I sit back to this day and still, like, how in the fuck is y'all doing all that? That's why you need to pay your nail tech what the fuck they ask you for. That's why as a nail tech, you, you got to be ready to um, charge what you're worth. Because you they'll nickel and dime you as long as you let them nickel and dime you. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're sitting there taking $30 full sets, two bling nail specials, that's all you're going to fucking get. And then you sitting there got to move out your suite because you can't afford it because you ain't made enough money. You can't afford good acrylics. You're going to buy MMA. You're going to buy bullshit. And, and, and the nails popping off and they, the, 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 the client nails are cracking because the acrylic... It's crack. It's, it's crappy. Y'all, I, I, I didn't got, I didn't got into my feelings now about it. Stop doing all the motherfucking thirty dollar full sets with gel polish, two bling nails for forty dollars. You ain't gonna make no money doing it. You're gonna lose your suite doing it. You're not gonna be able to pay your, your booth rent doing it. If they don't wanna pay, fuck it. Somebody else is gonna come that, that like your personality, like you. They're gonna come and pay you what you're worth. And if you still have an issue, take my class and I mentor you. I'm just being honest. So that's why, again, that's, that's what I'm trying to say to Jamie. It, 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 it's going to take time to get back into the game. But don't get back into the game until you are ready to get back into the game. You know, you just had a baby, so you can't bring your baby up there slinging nails. You let me. You stop in and, and got to change the baby pamper and all that stuff. Somebody in the corner holding your baby. Just because you want to do nails so bad, you want to get back to, into the game. That client ain't coming fucking in. They're going to be like, bitch. She over there changing shitty pimples in the corner and she ain't washing her hands and the baby hollering and she stopping and then it's taking her four hours to do my nails. It's like y'all that work from home doing hell. That's why y'all can, can only charge $20 for quick weaves and shit because they know, bitch, I'm going to be here six hours. Because you got to stop and make your spaghetti for your children. You got to stop and go take a, 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 a break to go smoke your blunt. You got to stop and take a break to go smoke your cigarette. You got to stop and take a break to go get Ray Ray and Alize from school. So that's why y'all can only charge twenty and thirty and forty dollars for quick weaves and shit working out of your house, cause that's all you're worth. So I'm I'm just saying all of this stuff to say this: get back into the game, know your fucking worth, charge your worth, look like money, you're gonna attract money. I teach this in my class also. I'm I'ma stop because I'm telling too much of the game. I, I should I, I might not even save this video because I'm I'm telling y'all too much of the game. Yep, I'm not gonna save this video. I'm not going to save it. I'm telling y'all too much of the game. So stop rushing to, to get into the game and, and, and do this and do that. And then two months in, you can't pay rent because you ain't got clients because it takes time to get clients. And then you got to close down your suite. You can't afford proper products. You're going to get some more bullshit. how it works it's a time for everything and like I said before that's why I'm giving you guys more than a month to, 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 to get with me after my class because you go, it's going to take you more than a month to get yourself together so I don't care how long it takes you contact me after class and say okay do, do you remember me after your class last year I remember all my students y'all yeah, remember you what's up sweetie what do you need Okay, I'm ready to get into a booth, Miss Cynthia. So, can you help me and tell me what, what should I do? Like, should I do booth rent? Should I do commission? What should I ask for? What what do I need to do? You know, I, I need to get a nail dance or I need to, I need to do this. What do I need to do? 
okay, I, I'm ready to help you now. So, because I'm just going to tell you, a lot of nail tests ain't going to help you. They're not going to tell you shit. And, 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 there's, and there's a reason for that. You can't get mad at them. How, 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 how you put your stones on? And what, what, what glue you use? Where you get your tips from? And nail tests ain't going to tell you that. Some of them anyway, because first of all, they look at you as competition. And, and, and second of all, if a nail tech took a class, like a lot of people that took my class, their license, they just came from, flew where the fucking Houston, Texas, Lil Well in fucking uh, St. Louis. Spent 800 on the class, a couple of hundred on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the flight and a room. And I'm going to go back and on my Instagram and do this. I'm going to tell you everything. That's not the reason why y'all can't y'all got to stop asking all them goddamn questions. People took classes for their information. So I don't care what y'all say. Everybody ain't going to agree with it. That's fine. But get your asses up and, 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 and invest in your own future in, in your own future and stop asking people all these goddamn questions. So again, y'all lucky. I get y'all some valuable information this morning. That's why I said this last live. I'm not gonna say this. I'm at home right now for the bag. I ain't gonna say this one. So I hope you were looking. But um, I hope told Jam. I hope you on here looking. But it takes it takes time to get back into the game. But don't get don't the fuck what people say. And, and, and I don't care who looking. Take your time and get back into the game when you're ready. Because again, you 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 wasting time and money buying supplies, buying furniture, buying this, buying that to say I'm a boss. Cause this put y'all favorite word. I'm a boss. You showing picture of your suite. You trying to do what everybody else doing. You want a private suite. You decorate. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. And and two months in, into the game, you got the you, you you can't pay rent. So you sneaking up there in the middle of the night, taking out your shit out there fucking sweet. Because you're a ratchet ass wasn't ready and you and you skipped out on your rent and you messed up that lady's money that you owe it takes time to figure it out it takes time to do this shit right so that's why you know i've been close my salon down like i said i think we're around christmas time yeah i'm just being honest with y'all I'm being, because I don't know, come on here and lie. I could have been, find me a building. But I knew I had to, that on the loose end, I want to tie up is these classes. Because again, I have people flying in to take my class. And it's convenient to do it where I'm at now because the airport is down the street. So I ain't want to get into a building and then say, okay, the class is, is over here. And they got to find an Uber or rent a car to drive, spending more money to drive another fucking 30 minutes where my building is at. So that's, that's one of the reasons why. And another second reason common sense, I'm stockpiling fucking money. That's why I'm saying I'm ready. I'm ready now. Because I took my time. I did it right. I ain't care what nobody else say. Oh, I thought she going to open up a school. I thought she going to open up a school. <laughs> don't, don't, don't watch me. Don't watch, don't watch me. Watch yourself. So that's what y'all doing. Y'all rushing. Trying again, trying to 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 to, to show mommy and daddy or your 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 cousin over there or your ex. I'm I'm gonna show them. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. Ooh, I'm a boss. You can't wait to show your suite on Instagram. You can't wait to show the before and after because that's what everybody else was doing last year. Getting into private suites. Nail takes then used to get into in fucking private suites. Nail take used to just go to the nail salon and booth rent, but now everybody and their mama want a private suite. I got to go in my house, y'all, and, and cook. Hold on. But once I get in there, like I just said, you can't pay the fucking rent. Hold on. Let me, I got to, I'm going to keep talking to y'all. Because this is, I'm, I'm, this is a good one. But let, I got to get in and start putting my greens on. One second, y'all. Let me back in. Um, hey, on looking for my keys, making sure I ain't I don't leave them in here. 
because it's gonna start beeping if I leave it in here. All right. So what? Yeah, that's what y'all doing. So that's why. What you have to do is I'm getting y'all some free game. Y'all, y'all, I'm, I'm getting y'all too much information. I'm giving y'all too much information. It's a lot more I can say, but mm -mm, that's what I teach in my class on how to get yourself out there. I'm stopping right there. I'm sorry. I, I've been too, I went too far. I hope they don't know it's the right order because I showed him looking this bag in this box to see what she gave me. I'm sorry. I'm giving y'all too much information. Who has made my coffee out? But let me get the groceries in first. Oh, hey, good morning. Got you something to get you some sugar in here so you can get to work on the labels. Thank you. How you feeling? Good. Yeah, I gave y'all too much of the game. Y'all owe me. It cash at me. Everybody cash at me twenty dollars. If you ain't a student, I'm serious. Cash at me twenty dollars for this free information. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna save it, Ebony, because I'm giving out too much free information. I'm giving out too much of the game, and this is some valuable ass shit. And y'all know it is. So cash app me right now. Everybody that's not on my class list, $20. My cash app is um dollar sign, stay ready nail studio. <laughs> I ain't playing. Cash app me $20. Because y'all know doggone where this information was 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 worth money. What's what's the name? Six figure spot chick be saying y'all. Y'all got to cash at me up with some coins. Cash at me some coins. So she be giving away free information too. And I and I be so taking notes. I be like, girl, thank you for that free information. So she be like, uh-uh. Y'all cash it um. Drop me, drop me a coin. That what what she say. Drop me a coin. So y'all cash at me twenty dollars right now. Stay dollar sign. Stay with Nail Studio. Uh, the information I give y'all is that that was that baby. Oh. Bags, greens. Whew. One more bag, y'all. Got to clean up my kitchen and start cooking. But yeah, you just not tuning in. I might not save this video again because I, I dropped too much. I dropped some gems. So toe jamming. I don't know if you're on here. I did this for you. I thought I only got them groceries. The fuck? Two more bags. Three more bags. Shit, hold on, y'all. Shit. I know I bought all this shit. Shit. <laughs> I gotta close the truck. Is this all the bags? Yeah, this all the bags. All right, y'all. So I got to take out this um, hoodie and get comfortable. See y'all. Before this uh, conclusion of the Mueller investigation, saying the should be made. I had. I got my bag of hair on my bed. That's my bag of hair. So is the president. I, I was gonna figure out how, what I was gonna do with it. But um, so, uh, I think that, that, that it is going to be that, that my dog was laying on my bed. That said, you know, uh, I think this is going to be a long process. So what I'm going to do? Um, over how much is made yeah. Oh, I'm looking well, for this. It's never boring, honey. 
course, we will be right back. I got to, um, sorry, yeah, I got to go because, again, I want to put my greens on. That's the most important thing that takes the longest time. I want to put my greens on. I got to make some calls, like I said, to get my my order. Put a remote. Damn TV, y'all. I finna, um, take out the clothes so I can... Put my greens on, like I said, I gotta make my orders. Put, put in my orders. But I don't think I'm gonna save this live. So I hope you were on here, told Jamie. To get that valuable information. enjoyed all of this free information this morning that I gave out and I'm going to um I'm in my closet y'all hold on I hope you guys enjoyed the information I gave out because it's worth it's, what I said was the truth was the truth y'all doing too much too soon you're not ready or, again, you know, you don't have a mentor to tell you all of this stuff. It's going to save you time and money. Because it, it's embarrassing, again, to keep seeing everybody come up there. Not come up there, I ain't see it, but it was embarrassing to walk up there and it's like, damn, she gone too? You, you, you came up there in the middle of the night and got your shit because you couldn't pay rent. Like, who does that? Came up there in the middle of the night because you couldn't pay rent because you're rushing, trying to let everybody know I'm a boss and I got my own suite and da-da-da-da. But you can't even pay the rent whether you have clients or not because clients is not guaranteed. Clients come and go. That's why somebody was going, somebody tried to come, come at me because I said, it's a difference between customers and clients. But what's the difference? I'm like, somebody said, like, shut up. Honestly, like, shut up. Like, you, I know who you are. Your business ain't even popping. I'm just being honest. Your her business wasn't even popping like that. You got customers. Okay? So, it's a difference between a customer and a client. If a customer, you, if you have a business selling, say, um, cookies. They, they, they everybody don't eat cookies every day. So, you're going to have customers. You're going to have clients, too, but you're going to have more customers. Because, again, it ain't. Something that they have to maintain every two weeks, every three weeks, like a nail refill. Like, I got to go get my nail refill. That's the business for you. That's a client. But ain't nobody going to come to you every day unless they just like fucking cookies. Ain't nobody going to come to you every day and say, oh, I'm a client. Or I got a 2 o'clock appointment. I'm going to buy some cookies. It's a difference. So, in the nail game, you want clients or you want customers? Because clients come and go. Clients are fucking chair hoppers. I mean, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Customers are chair hoppers. A customer is somebody that comes to you because you got the $30 full set Wednesday with gel polish and two bling fucking nails. That's a customer. So that's what I'm, t I'm telling you guys. I teach more than nails. I teach the game on how to get clientele, not customers. So like I say, toe jamming. I hope you was on here. If not, I'll tell you this stuff later on. But I'm going to end this video because y'all owe me some money. Because I went in. I went in on this video. Let me put my... My meat on, cause y'all y'all know the ham house got to start cooking first. Let me put my make my coffee. Put my meat on first. So put the meat on. They ain't gonna take me too long to cook these greens because I can tell they're not really dirty. Put my ham house on. Then I'm gonna make me some coffee. $32.98 from Valerie Billings. Thank you for your order, sweetie. It's going out today, of course. Thank you for the order. I really appreciate that. What a remote. So, um, <clears throat> before you delete this, can we have 14 minutes to go back and hear the beginning? I came in late. <sighs> As the Spice Girls get ready for a reunion tour, the 
Um, I even put my music on too. I'm, I'll save for a little while. I'll save for at least 30 minutes. And so I can tell Toe Jam and go look at it real quick. We need music to work on Lauren. Put some music on in a minute. Make my coffee. I'm already pumped, but I need some coffee to cut the appetite. I ain't ready to eat yet. So yeah, I had to go change it to my cooking clothes. But, um, yeah, that's why when my students come, they be like, oh my God, like, oh my God, I'm so glad you told me that. And they write shit down, like, yeah, like, I told y'all this shit ain't fucking, it's not easy. It ain't easy just to go online on eBay, Amazon, buy some acrylic and some primer. And, you, and, and it ain't that, it ain't, it ain't that easy. Okay, you got pH born, okay. You got primer, okay. You got my liquid, okay. You got some, some tips, glue, okay. All right, next, what's next? What's next? You gonna have this client, she like this, okay. You gonna have another client, she gonna be like this. All right, she gonna have, you gonna have another client, she gonna be like this, okay. Then now, now what, what you gonna do? This ain't working on this client. Oh, oh, okay. They ain't teaching it in class. Oh my God, what am I doing wrong? My, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? Y'all in groups. Like I said, I be in there all, all, all night in them groups. And I be shaking my head because I'm like, and everybody trying to tell tell you what, what you're doing wrong. I be, and I'm like, nope, that ain't what you're doing wrong. That ain't what you're doing wrong, sweetie. So, um, No, I'm not going to be doing any mentoring or consult sessions because when I try it, nobody didn't want to pay. How much? How much? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just, like I say, the, my class is 800. But I don't want to, I don't want the kit. All right, it's still 800. I'll keep the kit or you can take it home and sell it. I don't care, but my class is my, it's 800 all day. So the poor, when it comes to laying acrylic, you don't want the, the tips, you don't want none of that stuff. Okay, it's still 800. And like I said before, when I tried it, I, I'm going back and forth with people. How much, well, how much you charge just to tell me this? Well, how much you charge just to tell me this? You know what? Don't break down my fucking class. It's 800. And when I stood my ground, like I teach you guys to do, when I stood my ground, this when I this when my classes pop off. I'm not selling myself for cheap. I ain't, I'm not selling myself for cheap. And I teach you guys not to sell yourself for cheap either. This is a big ass hand This is why I, I was telling you to get home and put these babies on. I'm big. I ain't putting but two in here. You'll have one, I'll have one. Roseanne Borden did now. I'm not coffee, y'all. Thank you. So she was like, okay, maybe I can even get that. Yeah. Roseanne, it sounds like people are saying that if this was inevitable and she did it to herself. Roseanne seems like one of those types of people that likes attention and really doesn't know how to. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about not to shut up as they send the headline. Eva Marcel and her drama between she and her ex. Kevin McCall, yes, more drama. Even Marcel, of course, from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, used to date Kevin McCall, gorgeous little girl, Marley, together. She's five years old now, but after, uh, after she was born, the two of them broke up, and it was not amicable, to say the least. In fact, Eva filed a restraining order against Kevin. Yeah, you see him yeah, up she there. she talks about it. We've heard her talk she about does. it. She does. She's talked about it in the show, exactly. Uh, and she has been very outspoken, calling Kevin the donor rather than the dad of Marley. In fact, yeah, she feels that her new man, uh, Michael Sterling, is more of a father to Marley than Kevin is. If you saw last week's episode, did you guys see that? Well, you actually see Marley calling Michael Sterling daddy. Exactly. Kevin's not happy about that. Who took to Twitter? He took a screenshot. I'm here, y'all. I'm just trying to listen. Hold on.
last night. The show was on last night. It was pretty explosive. A lot of women were talking about how Eva has all these different addresses and how she'll rent a home and her last home she had to move out of in and two each, days. And each home is less than the home before. Exactly. Like in them to smaller and dingier. And yes, exactly. So someone on the show was saying, well, she's obviously flat front. But she and her uh-huh. husband and Marley and their new baby are on the run. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, so I'm going to go because I really, I really got to pay attention, get my dinner on, and like I say, go work. My daughter already over there started. I got to make calls and stuff. I got to make a lot of, uh, not a, a, a few calls. So... You know what? This is the first season. This is the first season I have never watched the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but it's still recorded. So I think tonight, if I have time, I think tonight I'm gonna start watching it, cause it's juicy. It's juicy now. I don't, I, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Y'all still watch it? Do y'all still watch the Housewife of Atlanta? Anybody? Kevin is saying this is not true. He's saying it's just a storyline of the show. They're using him as a storyline of the show. He admits that he's had anger. Y'all don't watch it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's saying he and his family just miss Molly. They just want to see Molly. Sharon, I can't. Thank you so much, Sharon. Oh, my God. My like a chicken because I got the energy drink but I'm still getting ready to make me some keto coffee so um my first yeah I got a mind record it so I think like again I'm, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and watch it might as well but I, 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 I I'm trying to say I deleted my walking dead Lauren I, I'm I start watching it